ready to go. Always. Right now, how did you... How did you... Oh. Careful. I'm here. What's the plan? We're here to find some documents we're calling the Malik Dossier. Basically, it's the paper trail that proves Malik was behind the Canada House bombings. Problem is, these documents won't be on one computer. They'll be on dozens, scattered across the country. So what do we do? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? Let's have Malik take it. Serge uses a supercomputer called Filament to process information drawn from the CTOS network. It's like Noodle, if you could use it to search every document on every civilian, government or commercial device everywhere in the United Kingdom, instantly. Hmm. Nice one, Bagley. Break in and connect Bagley to a Filament administrative terminal. He'll do the rest. As usual. terminal from your optic interface, you'll have to align the SIRS satellite network with my packet stream from Bloom Tower. No sign of the suspect. Let's call it in. Well done. Now I should be able to stream myself into SIRS's nasty little snoop computer. Head to the basement and hack the filament admin terminal. There's an intruder in the building security systems. I don't... Sorry channel is being hacked. I've taken control of building security, but I'd prefer to end this bloodlessly if you're willing to.
That central server is Filament's admin terminal. Connect me to it to gain access. seems Malik deployed the microwave drones. Hold on, what? Microwave drones, one of Filament's novel intrusion countermeasures. They use little microwave cannons to selectively destroy compromised hardware, sort of like chemotherapy for computers. The server room automatically seals itself while they're deployed. That's... Try hijacking one of the microwave drones and use it to shoot the other ones down. Reset his connection and give us enough time to complete the intrusion, but Filament uses three quantum processors with independent power. We'll have to reboot each individually. Unplug it and plug it back in. Easy. Close enough. Keep your eyes You look at this! A chain of custody documents for 40 kilos of Semtex. It ricochets through a dozen shell companies, but ultimately ends up registered to an address in Southall. And would you guess who lived across the street from it for 30 years? Victoria and Imran Malik, parents to one Richard. That doesn't prove a thing. Well, this one is heartwarming and incriminating. It seems that the areas of Canada House immediately around the bombs were evacuated in an unscheduled drill. I have an email chain here between the facilities director and an anonymous SIRS account. Funny, that didn't make the news. You think it's incriminating that I tried to minimize the loss of life? Come on, that's so spinnable, I'm motion sick. Look at this. It's an unredacted mission report for two SRS agents instructed to plant explosives as part of a training exercise, and it's signed and dated by the Home Secretary himself. Seems it's a bad day to be the secretary. Exciting! Did you know that the head of security for Canada House had a daughter stuck in a Cairo jail, and that she was pardoned the week before the explosion? Why, he would certainly owe a very, very big favor to the SRS officer who pressured the Egyptians, wouldn't he? I suppose he would. Seems that Malik's given up having the microwave drones destroy compromised hardware. Now he's got them targeting you. The effect will be about the same, though. Let's shut things down. We have here, straight from your own laptop, Malik. Case files on all these little side-ops you've been running. 
Honestly, you might as well have titled this Evil Bomb Conspiracy, Doc Doc. That's enough. You can't do this. You mustn't do this. I won't allow it. Independent power has been rebooted. Return to the central core to complete the cycle. Nice work, Bagley. Now, let's spring the trap on this rat. With pleasure. Seems Malik didn't quite have time to cover his tracks. I believe I can trace his position. Do it. All right, let's find you. Who hmm. shut that down? Something fishy is going on here. Now what? I said. If you've been lying, then I withdraw from the case. I will not represent a client who has not been... Seriously, honestly, that's a hard no. Malik has been secured at the safe house. All right. Well, now that we have him, we should talk to him. Find out what he knows about Zero Day. Just don't get too close to him, all right? As long as he's alive, he's a threat. Listen here, Mal. Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty project at a press conference. And why would I give a single fuck about Nigel Cass? Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meetings at the Drowning Post. Fine. Planning how to take down Cass so... talking about our friend Malik on the GBB. Show me. Other documents in the Malik dossier, which were released by the organization known as DedSec. Officially, S... This is the place. Where's the... Tell me you lot met with my contact and he had nothing to do with this. Your man never showed up, Hamish. But come on, this was a show. It has Cass written all over it. Cass is a drama queen and he staged everything perfectly for his little performance. We need to check the attack site. No, no, you don't get it, fam. Radu's been seriously unbalanced lately. Talking all sorts of rubbish about someone having to stop Cass, no matter the cost. Timing's too pat. Cass announces this new security initiative and then he's attacked in public. No way. Hope you're right. And it's not Radu gone off the deep end. Uh -huh. 
concerned about the increased Albion presence in London. Too right. Got Merck's trolling the streets guns in hand. Ready to kill us. This is the site where Nigel Cass was attacked. But, surprise, surprise, his personal goon squad has already scrubbed the area for evidence. Wouldn't want the truth to get in the way of the perfect sales pitch now, would they? Yes, if you search for clues, I may be able to reconstruct the attack in augmented reality. Is there anything you can't do? There is a CTOS data relay nearby. That will have the data I need. Fine, I'm on it. if you want me to reconstruct the scene in augmented reality. <laughs> that should do it. Go back to the location of the incident to view the reconstruction. to professional weaponry. Unfortunately, that doesn't narrow it down. I'll have a look around. Searching facial recognition databases, and here he is, Radu Florin, an Albion employee in good standing, until he tried to drive an exploding truck into his boss. Radu? Oh, shit. Fam, that's the bloke put me on the Themis. My contact inside Albion. You're telling me this actually was some kind of assassination attempt? What the fuck did he find to make him desperate enough to do this? Roll it, Bugs. Look at that. Albion trucks with black boxes on the undercarriage, just like aeroplanes. I can track down the black box, which should lead us to the truck's current location. And run the truck's plates? Of course. I'll also monitor Albion communications and a thousand other little things you would appreciate. Looks like a disgruntled employee situation. Surprise, surprise. Working for Cass is bad for morale. If there's dissension in the ranks, that's something we could use. First step, we need to get a look at that truck. I mean, I've recorded dumb stuff. According to Albion radio chatter, they've moved the truck to the Tone bombing site. And here's something even stranger. They've moved Radu Florin's body along with it. To tone? What the hell is going on? Albion has been coordinating recovery efforts at the site, which is rather vague. It's a dumping ground, isn't it? For problems they like to see disappear. If we find the truck, we find Radu. Agreed.
I'm at the tone site. So this is where Albion brought the truck from the attack? That's right, but what we don't know is why they brought it here. I'll have a look around. Let's go. Something over there. This is the truck used in the Finsbury attack. I have a VIN and plate match. The dash cam is a shambles, but the local cameras picked up some audio. Worth a listen. Oh, Jesus. He's pretty burnt up. Happens when your truck explodes. Fuck. I used to see him around R&D. Did you know him? Hell no. But even if I did, I wouldn't fucking talk about it. Know what I mean? I'm detecting several optics nearby with no life signs connected. That's where we should look for the driver's body. I'm on it. Severe burns. Looks recent. Think this is our target. There's a lump of damaged metal in his noggin that might once have been an optic. Can you still get something off it, Bagley? I'm pulling everything down from his cloud storage now. I recommend escaping from the premises. So, Albin's using the tone sign as a dumping ground. If you consider that new bodies are constantly being unearthed from the tone wreckage, they can kill anyone they want and get away with it. I've decrypted an audio file recovered from the attacker's body. Shall I play it? You're up, Bagley. He's launched them, Mum. They're waiting up there, and no one knows. People think he'll keep them safe, but that's not what he wants. He wants control. He sent them up there to watch us. And worse, he called them Justice, Themis, drones. What a cruel joke. The project was dead, but he has the team re-engineering an upgrade that'll activate a systemic reboot and... You always hated it when I used my big up words. I... I can't let it happen. And without him, it doesn't. 
Mom, I'm about to do something. Something awful. Or at least people will say it's awful. If they know what I know, maybe they'd think better of me. Less of a monster. But I'm trying to stop a monster, Mom. I am. If you had the chance to stop something terrible from happening by... by killing someone, wouldn't you do it? Something truly horrible. I'm sorry. I love you. Shit. Albin's had their fleet of Themistrones lying in wait this entire time. But the right system upgrade? Well, they could actually take over. Might take months, but Cass could get the project back on its legs. Unless we destroy the drones themselves. Bugs boy, the Themis data we wiped at Titus. Any chance you remember enough to retro-engineer a more suitable upgrade? I'll do you one better. I can code a virus from the data itself. God damn it, Bagley. You kept the project data? I asked him to. No sense in just flushing data. Never know what might come in handy or what you might learn. So, how do we use it to infect the drones? Albion's got a primary communications hub at Tower Bridge. Upload the virus there, fam, and all the drones get a dose. Let's do it. This is Albion's primary communications hub, but there's more security here than there is around the Royal Meth stash. You should start by destroying their encryptors. If your hacking skills are up to snuff, dominating a combat drone or two could help. Gotcha. Okay, let's do this.
now upload the virus using the central antenna. Gotcha. Incoming drones. The murder drones? No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. at all. I suggest you leave before someone gets the bright idea to turn yours off. <laughs> Cass's plan to use drones driven by some social algorithm to dispense justice has backfired. Do you think he's actually read any of those Greek myths he's named his drones after? What's to stop the next plan, and the one after that? Cass is the real problem here. We have to figure out a way to stop him. Oh, well, that should be easy enough. All he has is his private army, a whole city full of adoring fans, and the biggest private drone fleet in the world. You see the problem here? So we take the people's support away, fam? Bags and me have some thoughts on what we gotta do. You lot better come in for a briefing. Grab it. I think we lost them. on it.
Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal, but now... I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected DedSec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. I knew Cass was a snake, but that's one hell of a spin. He'll keep twisting the truth. And worse, people keep believing him. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. Scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. Yeah, about that. Few of us have been working on something. Bagley, bring it up. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired. So all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio... I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is going to blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity. from somewhere around here. That's all I've got, I'm afraid. Bloody analog technology. would be a better use of our time. Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kelly, which you'd think they'd be used to by now. They're a criminal gang. They shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. Tablet unlocked. Claire seems to have logged conversations on it. Okay, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr...? Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... <laughs> proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's... Here, transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... <gasps> security, drop your weapons! weapons? You can't do this! Gather all our equipment and get it to the carousel. Do. No. Check that wall, then get rid of this body. She's here. <laughs> Gang vengeance is an horrible crime, ain't it? Fuck me. Cass sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's got to be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment then, along with the audio file evidence. Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking. Hello, 
Someone else slept off work, and now it's your turn. Sweet! Ugh, that is so awesome. And deadly, I guess. The stolen evidence is here somewhere. Watch out, Albion security is thicker than whoever cleaned up that crime scene. There's also a lot of them around. More people to beat up. Sweet! Yes, well, let's focus on finding Claire's equipment, shall we? Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact.
Well, I know... Now Scarpa or they'll kill you for sure. that makes you want to snap his smug bollocks in a pencil case, doesn't he? And Zero Day knew just which strings to pull to get what they wanted, didn't they? Filament. And Cass was willing to trade it for the keys to the city. Fuck. I don't know, fam. I think I always thought there was a chance for him to... Fuck! To be the man you thought he was. Sorry, Hamish. If that man ever existed, he's gone now. We have to get this information out there. To the people. You're right. When you lot get the chance, come to Piccadilly Circus. Been working with bags on something. And this proof is just the topping we needed. Finish your sweet treat. We've got work to do. It's fuel, Bagley. Is that why you paid extra for the strawberry shortcake flavoring? Hey, Bagley, shut up. Holding this still as a can, all right? Stay right there. Profile trigger the alert. Wait. London, you've been lied to. Nigel Cass and his Albion peacekeepers intend to permanently control his city. The ideal targets are the Tone Conference, Parliament and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. Nigel Cass collaborated with a terrorist to bomb this city. Then he set up an orbital drone program called Themis that would target you based on your stolen data. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. I've given you the truth. Do as you will. Actually, fuck that. Resist. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? Hey, Hamish. Haha. <laughs> Thought you weren't risking your pretty face. Yeah, well, can't lock myself away from the world forever. Got a lot to make up for, don't I? Besides, you sorry lot need all the help you can get. Check it. Fucking wankers! Yeah, the whole of Albion won't just disappear. Sent that to every news outlet I could think of. They're gonna have it on the loop for a while. And when the people tweak to what it means, Cass is done. He'll be removed, prosecuted for high treason. They'll have no choice. We've done it. Congratulations, team. What's next? That can't be all you brought me on for. There is still the matter of Zero Day. You know, the rogue hacker group that conspired with Cass and Mary Kelly to blow up London. Jesus, Backley, all work and no play. Give the squad a second or two to bask in our victory. Safe to say it won't last long. Oh, I just love you, big fan. Albion officers are employed to I doubt this is the reaction you were expecting, but Nigel Cass is in the news again. The government has convened to review its contract with Albion. Nigel Cass himself has responded to requests that he should surrender to the authorities in a heated call with the GBB. Just shut up and listen to me. I will not be removed by the government or anyone else. I will die first. 
and many will die with me. They're calling for blood. They'll have it. This city belongs to me. I am its shepherd, and I will slaughter my flock before I relinquish it. Cass has barricaded himself in his White Tower headquarters and threatened to kill anyone that tries to stop him. He is heavily armed and considered extremely dangerous. Shit. He's gone off the deep end. He's liable to take it to the streets in his state. We have no choice. We have to get to White Tower and stop him. energy is exactly what we need right now. Ready to work. <sighs> Mate, Nigel's got a private bunker under this place where he like to tweak his toys. I'll bet he's barricaded himself down here. Won't be anyone but the true believers around the compound. Luckily, his reinforcements are limited to whoever's faffing about nearby. is a must be on your guard. Allow no one to pass unchecked. We cannot let anyone stop us from protecting London. Target. Target. 
care of security, you can now access the elevator to the bunker. You've come to end it, have you, dead sick? But haven't you figured it out yet? What our mutual acquaintance Zero Day set in motion? My inevitable reign and your downfall. This is how it will always end. The natural order of people like me and people like you. I am the law. Come down. Let me show you. against that drone Cass is wearing. Complete the network bypass to power up the EMP stations. Cass has called in reinforcements. What a surprise.
drone's armor. Attack! The drone's shielding is back online. Power up another EMP station. Heads up. He's called in reinforcements. Let's get this over with. I will make London great again. is ready to be London's protectors. Oh, it's a thankless burden. And the people will hate you for it in the end. Even when it's for their own bloody good. <laughs> there it is. Dead sex fatal flaw. Your faith in people. You recruit all types, don't you? Straight off the streets. Well, I used to have faith in people, too. I got a good man killed once. strikes Nigel Cass off the list. Shame. I think he would have made a smashing zero day. We have plenty of work still to do. Cass may be gone, but Albion won't disappear that easily. Expect the powers that be to find fresh excuses to keep them on the streets. That said, I think we've earned ourselves a bit of a rest from zero day as well. What is this shit? Oi, you put down a mad dog, dead si- You're it. Ready to go? About. to joining DedSec, Hamish. We could use you. Nah, mate. Gotta maintain my free agent status. Not enough booby traps in this place. Still, I'm glad we linked up. Don't know who else would have had the bollocks to take on Cass. Losing their psycho cult leader is gonna hurt Albion, no doubt. But trust me, fam. They won't pack it in so easily. Hope DedSec's got some fight left in it. Taking a break from your dark web corporate takedowns? 
a well-deserved one. Since we teamed up, the corporate class are thinking twice about fucking with London. See what happened to Castle having pissing in their trousers. The tide is turning me. Keep fighting, and I'll fight along with you. Laters. Inspector, you're the last person I'd expect at a DedSec party. <laughs> I'm only human, and we've got a lot to celebrate. Cass finally got what was coming to him, and with Mary gone, the Kellys are on the back foot for once. DedSec is making it hard to be a bad guy in London. Until the Met gets its bollocks back, I'm still on Team DedSec. You suddenly develop a sense of humor, Malik? If you got something to say, say it to my face. And spoil my one source of entertainment? I'll give you a hint. Spooky voice, catchy name, bit of a drama queen. Or did you just forget that you haven't actually found Zero Day? You looked at Albion, Sirs, the Kellys, even Sky Bloody Larson. Have you ever considered that instead of looking outside, you should be looking in? We have a problem. Come talk to me. Hey. Sorry to spoil the party, but we have an uninvited guest in the Deadset Network. They're downloading all the tech we've acquired on a remote device labeled Drew Britannia. What the hell? Dead sec. The name is Zero Day. We've met before in a past life. This city needed a villain, and you were perfect for the part. Now I have you playing a different role. While you've been running around trying to save this city, you've actually been arming us for a war. But then, it isn't always for us to know the role we play. And sometimes, once we've played it, our role is to die. Zero Day got everything. Fuck. Here's where I would remind you that I've been trying to warn you about the Zero Day threat, if I was an unfeeling machine. I'm in no mood for a lecture. Where did the signal come from? I can't pinpoint the origin of the commands, but the admin accessed the drive through an IP range dedicated to autonomous vehicles. I have a general geolocation for it, and I suggest you make a visit now. 